welcome back to the channel. Was looking through some of my saved items and thought why not show you guys what I've been keeping an eye on over the past few weeks and months. I guess you'd call this my wish list items for 2024. Uh, there are a few to get through so we'll try to fire through them and keep it short and sweet for you guys so yeah. Alright the first few items we have are some belts. The first two being from Dries Van Noten. The first we have a black and white print and a full black. I think the texture on the belts is really cool and it kind of brings uh, an extra element to uh, kind of like a simple, simple accessory. I think the black kind of does it for me a little bit more. I really like the square shape. I think it fits in between that dress and casual look so it can be kind of worn in each of those kind of areas. So yeah. All right, next is the Mutima cowhide belt. This is a bit of a mixture between those two Dries Van Noten belts. The buckle is a bit more dressier shape but the, the print is much more pronounced. You can see the texture of the cowhide is uh, yeah, much furry and um, easier to see, which I really like. All right, the next is the Bougard Day classic leather belt. I've been yeah, trying to keep my eye on a few dressy belts. I think that's one thing that I really kind of need. I think one thing that stands out for me for this belt is how they've styled it with a few of their other pants, which is kind of that extended or purposefully big belt with a kind of extended, I don't know what you call it, extended tail out from the pants, which is, yeah, a detail that I really like. Cool. All right, next we have some black leather tote bags. The first from Loewe with a price tag of Australian $5,000. This is an example of something that is definitely on my wish list and I will not be buying, nor do I think I should buy it. I think it's just an example of a really nice shape and definitely the size that I'm looking for just so you can throw a bunch of stuff in it for, well, I'm at uni at the moment, so your computer or jumpers and things like that, but yeah, really cool shape. But I don't think you have to spend that much money for $5,000 to get a nice looking or black leather tote bag without compromising on quality either, so yeah. Next we have, no, next example is a Acne Studios knotted leather tote bag. Another example, but I guess, of a, or another example of a black leather tote bag, but a bit more elevated with some added features or with the, the knots and things like that. I think with a bag, I'd kind of like to keep it simple, but I think these are done really tastefully. So yeah, and perfect size to kind of go over your shoulder, you can hold on to. So yeah, the Acne Studios black leather tote bag. All right, next we have the Vujar Day padded flannel jacket. I think this came out a year or two ago. Uh, but not this is another uh, piece that it's not necessarily the item, it's definitely the pattern of the flannel. I think I've been yeah, really actively trying to find a flannel for myself and I think patterns are kind of the, the hardest thing for me to kind of pull the trigger on. I, don't, I think this is a, a perfect colour, nice and dark, but um, yeah, trying to look for flannels in uh, specific colours and things like that I think is a very difficult task with actually seeing them in person. So yeah all right next we have some leather gloves uh from saint laurent another piece <laughs> there's a bit of a theme going through here that yeah i'm not going to spend a grand on some leather gloves but it is definitely an item that i'm going to be looking for or actively searching for Matt, yeah some cheap alternatives because uh, i think that's something yeah i want to be wearing through winter or yeah coming into the winter months now so yeah all right, next example we have is some pants from Uniqlo. These are the pleated wide straight pants in collaboration with Claire Wade Keller. Unfortunately, I cannot find these on the Australian website and they're only on the Canadian and UK, so I don't think I'll be able to get these unless someone can help me with a fix for that. But yeah, a really nice color and cut. I really like the how wide they are. I think grey is a colour that I've been really looking at at the moment with pants and jackets and shirts, just basically everything. I think it's a really cool cool colour and kind of is neutral but kind of gets me away from wearing black things which maybe I think for, my, for me personally just a bit too dark so I think yeah grey is like really cool in those pants. All right next are very similar uh, to those Uniqlo ones which are some wide leg tailored wool pants from COS. These are, yeah, very similar, a uh, double pleat this time, uh, but looks a little bit wider and, yeah, a bit longer as well. 
Here's an example of them in the light beige. I think the color just being a bit lighter, you can kind of see the, the shape and features of these pants a little bit easier and how they kind of drape over the shoes, which I think is yeah, a really cool detail. So yeah, those are from Coz. All right, next we have uh, some sneakers. I think sneakers are definitely my kryptonite. I can never find any I like, which is the most frustrating thing in the world. But yeah, here are some that I've been kind of keeping on, which are the Nike Cortez. Uh, I think it's a real shame that you don't really see them too often anymore. I guess that's partly an availability thing, but yeah, kind of fits in between that slim and chunky kind of shape with the round, so nothing too aggressive. But yeah, a really nice set of sneakers in the white color and a Nike ID ones that I made, which is another thing I never thought I'd say on here, but yeah, here we are. All right, next we have some examples of some bracelets. I think I've kind of committed to the silver jewelry thing, which is evident through these examples, but yeah, more specifically, I think uh, charm bracelets is kind of what I've been looking at. Here we have a few examples from Monica Vinader, hope that I'm saying that right, but yeah, we have the Heart Station one and a beaded chain uh, bracelet. And we have one from George Jensen, which is no charms, but I still do like the shape. And a one from Stolen Girlfriend Club, which yeah, definitely kind of adds on that charm thing. Uh, props to them for making a cool bracelet, but worst brand name I've ever heard. So yeah, those are some bracelets. Oh yeah, another example from Elise Mickelson, which is yeah, a charm bracelet. All right, next we have a hoodie from Daniel Simmons, which is the box fleet back hoodie. I think this is an example of how to do a, a hoodie really well. I really, or for me personally, really like how there's no uh, branding or details or prints. Uh, I think the, the cut is just, yeah, really nice. And I really like the uh, press, pressed clasp on the, the hood, which is a, another nice detail um, on that hoodie. Um, but yeah, and really nice uh, plain piece. All right, next we have some pants from Beyond Dye uh, 0222. I, if someone wants to tell me how to say that or pronounce that properly, that would be great. Uh, not much to say about these, really, I think, which is kind of a good thing. Just a really nice cut uh, with really nice wide cut and a really nice color. So, uh, yeah, really kind of blank and plain set of pants, but yeah, done really well, which is, yeah, super cool. Alright, final item we have are some Acne Studios leather loafers. Uh, I think they're, yeah, really nice slim looking shoe. I like the, the details or the lack there of details without the uh, strap over the forefoot, which I guess you see on a regular penny loafer and things like that. Uh, and the, the scrunched up leather at the toe is kind of a nice added detail, which shows through the front of your pants when you're wearing um, some nice baggy jeans or wide pants like that. So. Yeah, that's the Acne Studios Leather Loafer. All right, that's all my items for on my 2024 wish list. Be sure to leave a comment if you can think of any alternatives to the items that I did mention. Uh, I really appreciate it. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.